Okay, so here's a couple of tips when you're dealing with photos and you just want to know how large can I make my photo? In other words, how much can I crop in and still keep the resolution good, still keep the quality good? So here's a couple of things to keep in mind. I want to end up like this, but I don't know how big the image is. I mean, I might have an idea and I can get an idea of the actual size this way by just uh, doing command I and then I can see oh, 6,000 pixels. But well, what if I don't really know what that means? And I just want to see how large can I get this? So let's go ahead because I have a feeling I might be able to make it really large. So you go over here under format and arrange and original size. And then voila, we can see that, yeah, well, this is quite a, a big image, so I could be really creative. How do I want to do this? How do I want to crop it? Well, this looks pretty good here, something like this. So this is where I want to start. And then with the magic move, I can do something like this. Right, so I'm cropped in and I can pull out to show where we are. And then the text can come in revealing that we are here in Oregon. This often happens with uh, students as well. So we have an image like this, but it's not the greatest quality. In fact, let's check what, how big can we get it? What is the original size? So again, under format, arrange, original size, we can see, well, this is really small. So if we make it, even if we fill the screen with it, full screen, yeah, it's not going to be great. So here we have the original image, which I downloaded from NASA. But just how big can I get? So again, under format and arrange original size, we can see that, well, this is pretty good. So actually this is perfect. I can just kind of put it in there like that and using magic move, which I've mentioned before, I made a video about that before, so I'll link to that down below. We can do something a bit more cinematic as we're talking about Apollo 15 in this case. This could be like a title slide or something. Yeah, and then we can talk about astronaut Jim Irwin and the lunar rover and so on. So in this case, I want to start this way and then I want to see how big I can get it. And I'm going to explain some things about the top part of the Saturn rocket. As you can see, I already made this as large as it can go. This is the original size. If I cl click on that, you can see that's the original size, which is quite large. And we just cropped it and we're just going to use this bit here to get this kind of effect. All right, so we see the big picture, we see the wide, and then we can zoom in for the particular and spend some time here at the top. All right, here's another one. So again, original size, so I can see what I have. And then what I'm doing here is we kind of zoom in here. We start zoomed in or cropped in for the particular, but then we can zoom out as we're talking, as the presenter is talking, to reveal the, the bigger picture and his conversation with uh, Fred Hayes in uh, Apollo 13. The, not the movie, but the actual event. Here's another NASA image. I don't know the size. So I think it might be quite large. So I go again under format, arrange, original image, original size. We can see, whoa, this is pretty good. So I do something like this. And again, with magic move, I can get this kind of effect. So this is uh, Buzz, Buzz Aldrin. And I assume the photo is taken by Neil Armstrong. But that's a good example. So that's just an example of, again, you're kind of cropped in or zoomed in on the particular. And then as you pull out, it's just more engaging for the audience as well, rather than just a static image. And you could have that zoom be even slower than this as you're talking over it. All right, thanks very much. Just remember, if you want to see the original size so that you don't stretch something beyond its original size, just go up here to Format, Arrange, and you can check the original size here. And sometimes it's, wow, sometimes it might surprise you just how large you can make it. All right, thanks very much, everyone.